Over the last few weeks, synod after synod in the Church of England, diocese after diocese, have looked at the Anglican Covenant and then rejected it. And that's because they hear the arguments in favour of it, which are incoherent. One argument is that this is absolutely vital to the future of the Anglican Communion, so you've got to vote for it. Another argument is, well, it doesn't really matter much, so you might as well vote for it. Now, which of those is true? And then another argument is the Archbishop of Canterbury wants it and he'll be very upset if you vote against it. Now that seems to me to be the feeblest argument of all and it reminds me of a McCulloch family anecdote which takes me back to my grandfather. He was rector of St Columba's Episcopal Church, Portree. And one sunny, hot morning, he was taking morning service uh, and there was a large party for one of the great houses on the Isle of Skye. And a young lady in the party said, in a stage whisper to her hostess, Oh, I think I'm going to faint. To which the matriarch replied, You will do no such thing. It would be disrespectful to Almighty God and distressing for Canon McCulloch. Now, on that occasion, the young lady did not faint. But that is not a way to do theology. These issues are too important to... Uh, concern people's personal feelings to please one particular person. We have to look behind those. And what we see there is an attempt to discipline a whole church, a whole communion. And that is not the way Anglicans have worked historically. We do have discipline in the Anglican communion, but it's discipline of individuals, people. You cannot discipline an entire church. You can't spank an entire church. You can't exclude an, an entire church, as it were, the Anglican Church of the United States, uh, the Anglican Church of Canada, just because you don't like one idea which they've come to after prayerful consideration and much thought. That is not the Anglican way. That is what the Anglican Covenant seeks to do. There are other ways forward and I urge you, if you have anything to do with the process of Anglican government, make sure that this covenant is voted down.